Hi and welcome to part one of episode 11 where we're going to talk to you about Merlots. More accurately, John is going to talk to you about Merlots. I'm John Lafferton and this is... John Burfey. <laughs> <laughs> well remembered. <laughs> 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 got him there. forgot my own name there. <laughs> so Merlots. Yes. I'm really looking forward to this. I find that sometimes Merlots I really like or I really hate. So I don't know whether it's just what I've been eating or something beforehand, but obviously this, there, for me there seems to be a breadth of taste that... that uh, well there definitely is, as with uh, most grapes, but yeah, something what you could have eaten before before will definitely make a difference uh, to, uh, to any grape really but Merlot is, is a very versatile grape you can have against some fairly light easy ones and then going to the big beastie ones I think we're sitting more or less in the middle uh, moving to the heavier ones uh, this evening but we, we won't until we try them so what changes them what changes from the heavy to the light what, what difference does that make? anything climate soil yeah. um, obviously where, where it has been uh, made even down to the winemaker the winemaker um, can make a massive difference to any, any wine you can make something that is fairly box standard be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. There's so many things that can go in, into uh, changing any wine, um, but we're gonna have a go and see what see what these hold for us. Excellent. So we're gonna start our first mail off of the evening uh, is uh, Santa Rita. It's a, a Chilean. Now Santa Rita probably. Back in there, we probably had San or stock Santa Rita for at least 25 years we've been here. Uh, it's one of the very few wines in the shop, because a part of our job is we're always kind of out tasting, uh, or we get lots of samples come into the shop, and we're, we're constantly trying to get the best value for, for money on or, 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 the wines. Um, and this has been one that is one of maybe half a dozen wines that we've uh, we've kept in the shop for the full 25 years so it's uh, it's always been consistent and brilliant they were like at the forefront of the kind of Chilean wines before the Chilean wines became uh, popular hence why I could you know I will always kind of champion the Chilean wines I do think they are fabulous and I think we've tasted one of their other I can't remember was it Saviano or something quite possibly yeah. quite possibly because yeah. they, they are fabulous Santa Rita and um, I would definitely recommend having, giving them a go uh, there you go, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Excellent. Oh, oh. oh, a little dribble there. Eh? Oh, a little dribble. <laughs> we can mm. live with that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Right. Excuse my tongue. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I knew where that was going before he did. Right, oh, we need a piece of paper, don't we? We need a piece of paper. Oh, crikey, we'll just have a piece of that one up, up there. Right. Right, sir. Right. I'll let you have a look first. Right, okay. Of my crooked piece of paper. Let me have a look first. Okay, so it's, it's much dark, much darker than uh, yeah, some it, of the wines. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, you know, you can't, you can't see through that very, it's quite thick, you can see. Yeah. Also, kind of, it's got a nice purple egg, a nice purple ring to it there. Yeah. Look quite garnety. You can, garnety? Yeah, garnet, I see. Okay. Are you not getting that? Are you not seeing that? I thought garnet was an animal. No. Honestly, I have to work with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm happy with that. Okay. And also from that, I would, I would probably say this is going to be a... I'll take that up off the side. Just oh, don't need okay, right, You can you. almost tell, tell from, from the look of that what it's going to be like, or it gives me a, mm -hmm. oh, it gives me a good idea of what it, what it should be like. Or not not the, the flavour as such, but the, the, the weight of flavour on there. Do you know, I can tell this is going to be a fairly heavy one. Okay. Uh, it's not... I can't imagine it being very, very light anyway. No, I've got a sniff here before you. Ah, and how did you get on with that? Ah, that reminds me, I mean, you're going to tell me I completely up the wrong tree, the hmm. wrong vine. Come on. Uh, oh, we got it in. <laughs> we <waiting> weeks for <laughs> that. <laughs> um, Cote de Rhone. Cote de Rhone? Okay. You're going to say why now, aren't you? No, well, I will ask. Come on, where, where, what, what, what reminds you of the Cote de Rhone in that? In that? The smell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's going to be hard work tonight, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't associate that with Cote de Rhone. No? No, but then... You don't know what sort of Cote de Rhone's I've been drinking. I don't, know. No. But, see how I get from that? I, I, it's different to what I thought I would be getting from that, if, if I am brutal honest, I thought... I thought it would be more, more plummy, because I, knew, I usually associate a, a Merlot with a kind of plummy, plummy smell and earthiness, but that doesn't have that. I'd say it'd be more kind of uh, lighter, red, red berries, more definitely more strawberry-esque and... And it's the the, uh, the nose doesn't last very long. Sometimes, no. on some of the wines we've taste, uh, tasted, uh, yeah, smell. I smell, yeah, yeah, smell, yeah, yeah. Um, you smell it. The, the 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 taste continues in the nostril. This one, yeah. I'm fine on but by the end of the sniff, there's not much. There's uh, not much left. No, no, I, I would have to agree with that. Lighter than I thought it would be. However, let's ha let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Can I taste pepper? You can taste pepper. That's not that's not too bad, but that's not 
yeah, the predominant right. flavour, no? Oh, I didn't want to go for the obvious one. Well, you're going to leave that one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Never knows I need that help. It didn't taste to me like it smelled. No. Like I said, it went, when we looked at the colour there, I thought this would be much heavier. But it's not actually that heavy. But I think that's coming down to the lack of tannins in there. Okay. There's no real kind of dryness there. That's actually quite soft. No, yeah, it is. It almost has a, for me, kind of a eucalyptus -y kind of half medicinal. Where would I buy a eucalyptus tree? I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, Brighouse is quite good. You can have a go. We get most things here. I, oh. I, I couldn't, because I couldn't tell you what eucalyptus smells it's like. It's like in a um, um, cough product, you know, cough, okay. product, that, you, cough medicine. Sim similar. Like lozenges have eucalyptus in them. Okay. But all in all, that is not as powerful as I thought it would be. But that does not mean, by any stretch of the imagination, that's bad. That's actually, that's actually quite soft, and that is quite easy drinking. You know, you wouldn't particularly need any food with that. You can have got that on its own. Yeah. But there's lack of tannins. Yeah. Again, bring in for me that kind of almost a sweet edge. It's, it's, it's a mood thing for me. Right now, that's all, all right. You know, it's, it's a lighter style. My, but right my, now, I want something more fuller. No, my, my mind went to Brie with this. I don't know why. Brie, yeah, nice light, light yeah. music. There's something there that keeps coming through every time I have a taste, but I can't get it. No? I don't know where it is. It's all right, but put, 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 it's, not your, it's not your tire shop, is it? Mm, mm, mm. Tobacco. No. No? But I think we will find that in, in one of the other two. Okay. Well, I know. We are very lucky because the next one is uh, my, my favourite Merlot. Or... But saying that, we've got my favourite Merlot that they're a Merlot we've not tried. So anyway, okay. we'll, we'll... Well, and again, this, retail, this retails about £10, which for a chilling wine, it isn't massively expensive. It's, it is going up on the top end for, for a chilli, really. To get that sort of quality as a... What would be a French wine? Are they don't want a Merlot. Do See, I mean, they do have a Merlot of the French wines, and uh, you know, a lot of the kind of Saint Emilion tends to be a kind of Merlot base Merlot with a, a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. So the Merlot gives, lends it the backbone, whereas the Cabernet Sauvignon lends it the fruit. But to be fair, again, I, I think I mentioned this quite a lot, and I'll probably mention it again. I think uh, French wines, although they do make the the finest wines, they also kind of. Um, they also charge quite a lot for it, um, and something for this standard from a French wine, I'd be expecting to be paying, oh God, I don't know, fifteen to eighteen pounds yeah. for that to okay. have that kind of softness, that 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 richness without. Yeah. Nevertheless, still an enjoyable wine. Very enjoyable wine. Mm, thank you. Very enjoyable wine. Well, and we'll, I'll just mention while. Well, we're here as well. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking um, about where, where we are based, uh, our, our shop. So I'll just tell you where we're in Brighouse, which is West Yorkshire. And we're just on Commercial Street. You can't really miss us because uh, we're the best shop in Brighouse. <laughs> and opposite, opposite Boots. Opposite Boots, yep. Yeah, yeah, you, can't, you can't miss us at all. Just before Zebra Crossing. Um, and our website is www.chervic.co.uk. So feel free to have a look on that. Yeah, and I'll put the uh, the banner underneath so you can actually see it. Some, that's sometimes difficult to pick up. So and Chervik is pretty it. difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been called lots of things, personally. <laughs> hmm. That's delicious. Well, hmm. I'm looking forward to the next yeah, one. Yeah, so am I, so am I. So, uh, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you next episode. Cheers. Cheers.